Cryptids are a subject that are recognized throughout the world. Some believe in the existence of said beings, while others find them fascinating from a folktale and cultural standpoint. This belief and fascination was so huge that it eventually became a study which would be known as cryptozoology. Cryptids can come in many shapes and sizes, which are discussed throughout the world. This is to the point where every single state in the United States has its own cryptid mascot. Whether it be Washington's Bigfoot, New Jersey's Jersey Devil, and for today's analysis, we're going to be delving into the backwoods of Pennsylvania to talk about their apparently most known cryptid. Today, we're going to be talking about the elusive, the mysterious, and absolute hideous, Squonk. The Squonk, according to cryptozoologists, is Pennsylvania's most well-known cryptids, and it goes against most conventions of what you expect when you think about cryptids. Most cryptids are depicted as monstrous and dangerous to the human population. The Squonk, however, is known to most for being extremely feeble, sad, and most importantly, a very ugly creature. It is said to live in the hemlock forests of northern Pennsylvania, bearing what is described as ill-fitting skin which is covered in warts and other heinous blemishes. However, being self-conscious of its appearance, they would be known to cry literal tear trails which would lead hunters to them. So if the situation goes if they'd be followed or eventually cornered, they would literally use their tears to dissolve themselves into water and bubbles to avoid capture. The Squonk was first mentioned in a 1910 book which was written by author William T. Cox. It would be known as Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods and would be written as a fantastical field guide to whimsical forest animals mentioned in folklore across America. William described the Squonk as more of a species that is fairly common in the Pennsylvania Hemlock Forest. The description went as followed. The Squonk is of a very retiring disposition, generally traveling about at twilight and dusk. Because of its misfitting skin, which is covered with warts and moles, it is always unhappy. In fact, it is said, by people who are best able to judge, to be the most morbid of beasts. Hunters who are good at tracking are able to follow a squonk by its tear-stained trail, for the animal weeps constantly. William even discusses tricks hunters would use to try to capture the squonk. Where the squonks are said to often not move much and can be heard weeping under the boughs of dark hemlock trees. He even documents the account of a former Pennsylvania resident who tricked a squonk into entering a burlap sack only to discover that it dissolved into tears and bubbles. The squonk's apparent scientific name is Lacrimacorpus dissolvens, which comes from the Latin words of body, tear, and dissolve. More information about the creature would be added almost 30 years later with the release of 1939's Fearsome Critters, written by Henry H. Tyron. He describes the evolutionary fumble of the species and how they failed miserably in adapting to the new terrain once the Pennsylvania land became more swampy and marsh-like. To quote, With time, it developed webbing between its toes, but only on the submerged left feet. Hence, on entering the water, it could only swim in circles, and never got back to shore. Fossil bones dredged from these lake bottoms reveal that thousands perished of starvation in this manner." End quote. After the release of this book, there really hasn't been any more information given about the squonk in more than 80 years, so these accounts are all we know about the creature. All artistic depictions of the squonk usually follow the same template, of it being similar to that of a pig or wild boar having somewhat beady and tear-filled eyes, and being rather fat and frumpy. The squonk is also rather interesting because its popularity isn't due to that of local encounters or testimonies, but due to written literature and its constant association with Pennsylvania over the years. It doesn't have much of a cultural impact aside from the small reference in cryptid and supernatural books here and there. However, its arguably most popular claim to fame was in 1976, where the Phil Collins band Genesis made a song entirely centered on the creature simply called Squonk. While the Squonk may not be as well known or as interesting when compared to other cryptids, it is still remembered by some for being a more unconventional take on the cryptid status quo. 
it didn't need to be feared or constantly be seen for years in the forest for it to be known. Sometimes all you need is a strange creature with a strange behavior to be Pennsylvania's supernatural mascot. This has been Cthulhu's Creek, and thank you for watching.